So I'm Chris McGuire. Uh, I've been DJing for about a year and a half, year and a quarter, around there. Um, I, I've just gotten like really involved with it and I love the entire process going into it and I, I just love the entire community surrounding it. What made me like want to be a DJ was back, I would say, last July, um, middle of July last year, what happened was I was just online looking at some videos and I really loved the way that um, one person with a controller could influence an entire crowd into having this great community and just bonding people over their all common love of music. To get started as a DJ, you really need just the bare minimum. Um, for me, I just bought this board. It's a little bit more costly than people really want, um, but there's boards out there for less than $300. Um, and you can get a Bluetooth speaker even, and you can connect the board to the Bluetooth speaker, and you can have a eight-year-old laptop like I started on, and you can um, easily just turn into a good DJ even off of that. Equipment really doesn't turn you into a good DJ or a bad DJ, it's how you use it. The most fun that I can have um, doing my job as a DJ is probably um, doing something like this where like I would start the song then I would turn it into a low pass instigating the crowd to sing at me like this. And when they, when you have a giant crowd just scream back at you word for word the lyrics, um, it, it's definitely like the best feeling ever. It sends chills down my spine. It like raises the hair on my arm every single time without a doubt, just because it's such a great experience to have because you know you're making everyone in that room at least enjoy that one to two minute period of time because they love that song so much. The most challenging part as a DJ is being able to read the crowd. Um, I think of a comedian, um, you have to test the waters with some jokes before you can actually like go into your material. Same with the DJ, you have to test out what songs that you can play without, you know, making the crowd like kind of just bored or um, disengaged with the music. The way that DJs create music um, is both um, literal and I guess, you know, metaphorical. Um, literal because we take a computer, we go into a studio and we just record instruments, we put it together, um, we get a vocalist if we really want one and uh, we put the vocalist in and you have a song. But the more deeper um, psychological sense of making a song is being able to understand what you want to sing about. Most songs you want to have that deeper meaning just because it can bond people together in a way that normal songs that don't have a deeper meaning, they just can't. When I first started out DJing, my ultimate goal um, was to just make good music, to be known for making this music um, that everyone can listen to and they think it's really good. Now I think my goal has shifted into making this community where people can understand each other through what music they listen to, hopefully my music, I have no idea. Um, but other than that, it's really just I want to create this really tight community where it's always acceptable to understand each other and embrace each other. 